So this video will be applying the distributive property and then solving the linear equation. So we'll do uh, these, uh, I'll do this example and then hopefully you can do this, this one. So please write this down, or we'll do this one together rather. Please write this down, 4 parenthesis 2a minus 5 equals 20, okay? So what we need to remember is the distributive property and the distributive property basically says that if you have a parenthesis it's kind of like a bag so if you had say two apples and three bananas in a bag um, here's two apples here's three bananas there they are three bananas and they're in a bag and if you put the number 10 outside that that would imply that there are how many bags 10 bags, right? So if you put the number 10 outside the parenthesis, it says there's 10 of those bags, 10 of that group, okay? Now the point is, doesn't mean that there's just 20 apples, because most people can say, okay, I've got 20 apples. But it also means that you have 30 bananas, doesn't it? So the, the trick is that when you think of this as a bag, it means that everything in here is being multiplied by 10. So it's not just 20 apples, but it's also 30 bananas, okay? 20 apples, I should draw them 30 bananas. Does that make sense? So that's the distributive property. So you've got to multiply everything inside here by the number outside. And you know, it doesn't have to be just two numbers. You could have a cherry and two peaches and um, um, uh, a donut and uh, five dollars and all of that can be in a bag right and if you put the uh, 10 outside here that means there's 10 of these bags so there's there's not just 10 cherries but there's also 10 times 2p there's also so there's 10 cherries but there's also 20 peaches right there's also 10 times d 10 donuts and then 10 times the five dollar bill there's also 50 dollars okay when the 10 is put outside the bag, that, that gets multiplied by everything in there, okay? So that's the distributive property. Um, so here we have a 4 touching a parenthesis. So it's 4 of everything in there, right? So it's not just 8 apples, but it's also 4 times the negative 5, okay? So it's 8 A, 8 apples in the bag. But there, this is a debt of five dollars. Now, if you times that by four, yes, of how much? A debt of twenty. So the four gets multiplied by everything inside the inside the parentheses. And now you should know how to solve the equation from here. So go ahead and solve the equation from here. What do you get? Press pause if you need more time. So we just add twenty to both sides, don't we? And what's the next line? Because we're trying to get A by itself. A is being multiplied by 8 and then 20 is subtracted. So to undo subtracting 20, we add 20. We end up with 8A equals 20 plus 20. 40, right? And it's 8 times A equals 40. So how do you get A by itself? You divide by 8, right? Right, so A equals 5. So please write this one down and do it yourself. It's negative 6 equals 3 times X plus 5 in parentheses. Um, press pause and do the whole thing yourself and then check the video to see if you did it right. So hopefully you can do this one all by yourself, right? Okay, I hope you pressed pause and tried it. I'm going to run through it now. So we have a bag. We've got to apply the distributive property first and then solve, okay? So we have a bag and there's a 3 outside of it. So we've got to multiply the 3 times everything in there. Not just to get 3x, but also 3 times 5, which is 15. And so I think that's the, the biggest uh, point about this problem. So did you get 3x plus 15? If not, fix your answer and keep going. Press pause and keep going from here if you haven't yet. Press pause and solve it from here if you haven't done so yet. Okay, I'll go over it now. I hope you tried it. So, you got to think, look, I've got to get the x by itself. x has been multiplied by 3, and then 15 is being added. 
So to get x by itself, I first undo adding 15. So I subtract 15. Now I've got to subtract 15 from the other side of the equation, and the equal sign is here, okay? So you've got to subtract 15 from this side. Does that make sense? Now 15 minus 15 is 0, but negative 6 minus 15, what does that give you? Can you write down both sides of the equation now if you haven't done it yet? What do you get on the left? What do you get on the right? So on the left we have 6 negatives and 15 negatives. How many negatives is that? Is that negative 21? And on the right hand side we have 3x, right? So we can, we've got 3 times x. So how do we get x by itself? To get x by itself we need to divide by 3 on both sides. Okay. Negative 21 over 3 is negative 7. And 3x over 3 is x, right? So x equals negative 7 here. And of course, you know, we can always check these answers. I mean, if you check this one, we just plug negative 7 in for x in the original equation, right? So we said that x equals negative 7. So plug negative 7 in for x in the original equation, right? And we get negative 6 equals 3 times this. You know what? These are like terms. You can actually add them. See, negative 7 plus 5. See, when you have x plus 5, they're not like terms. You can't add them. But when you just have numbers like negative 7 plus 5, that makes negative 2, doesn't it? And what's 3 times negative 2? 3 times negative 2? Negative 6, right? So you get negative 6 on both sides, draw a smiley face, and that worked out, right?